The U.S. dollar is trading mixed in holiday thin trade. Several markets across Asia and Europe are closed for the May Day holiday. Meanwhile, here in the U.S., Congress negotiators reached a federal funding deal on Sunday that would avert a government shutdown later this week. And in U.S. economic data, personal income rose 0.2 percent in March below estimates. Meanwhile, consumer spending remained flat for the month. The ice and manufacturing index as well as construction spending numbers in the U.S. for the latest month are due at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Meanwhile, the two-day Fed Reserve meeting begins on Tuesday and we will be getting an announcement on Wednesday. Meanwhile, the monthly jobs report from the uh, U.S. government will be released on Friday. And in overseas data, China growth in the manufacturing sector slowed faster than expected. The Kaishin market PMI fell to 51.2 in April from an almost five-year high of 51.8 in March. And in New York morning trade, euro dollar is higher by just 0.2% at 1 and 09.17. Pound dollar is down 0.1% at 1 and 29.30. Now, the pound against the U.S. currency is in the spotlight today, and it is trading in a bullish channel. The R size turning higher and long positions above 1 and 28.90 are preferred, with targets at 1 and 29.50 and 1 and 29.70 in extension. Meanwhile, dollar yen is higher by just 0.1% at 111.61. Now, moving on to precious metals, they are edging below flat in New York morning trade. Gold has broken below an intraday rising trend line. And the downside breakout of 1261 is expected to trigger a bearish acceleration. Short positions below 1266 are preferred with targets at 1261 and 1257 in extension. Silver is down half a percent at $17.18. And that does wrap it up for this morning. I'm Remy Blair reporting from the New York Stock Exchange. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Trading Central. Have a great day.